racing now with the Formula 5000s. Well, this is the first race for Saturday here at Hampton Downs, the New Zealand Festival of Motor Racing, celebrating Chris Amon, and it is Peter Dunn from Monaco on pole position. Alongside him, Dunedin Steve Ross. They'll get the green flag this time, and they'll be racing for eight laps. Kenny Smith sits in grid position number three, and alongside him, Auckland's Roger Williams. Now, Smith was very, very fast in the first attempt at this uh, festival last weekend, but then the rain came down and ruined things, and Smithy couldn't quite uh, extend that qualifying performance. That's why he sits on the second. And row. And Steve Ross has gone into the front as they head down to the far end of the circuit for the first time. A man from Dunedin in a McRae GM1. The cars that, uh, well, not so much made Graham McRae, but certainly made him more famous designing and building these cars. McRae, of course, a regular in the Tasman series all those years ago now. And Steve Ross out of tin tops into the Formula 5000 series and into the front here. Williams in second place. Then uh, the man from Monaco, Peter Dunn, just drifting back a little bit. He's in a march, a mark that Chris Amon knows a lot about. And there is an, uh, an Amon Formula One car in this field. You might get a look at that. It's car number seven. And we will have a look at that if we can. But out in the front at the moment, it is Steve Ross from Dunedin. Roger Williams in second place in the Lola T332. So it's a McRae GM1 leading a Lola T332 in second. And now the pressure coming on from Jay Estera from Canada and yet another McRae GM1 just moving through and getting closer to Williams and now dives down the inside as they head into the right hand and Williams just shuts the door a little bit as they go around the corner heading up into the hip and now Ross is oblivious to this he won't be able to see what's going on behind him down into the far end of the Hampton Down circuit, 2.8 kilometres, and now up the big hill for the first time. Ross in the front, Williams in second, being monstered at the moment by Jay Esther of the Canadian, making a triumphant return here to Hampton Downs. In the rain of last week, he crashed, bent the McRae, couldn't compete, so uh, really, to have the meeting called off was a godsend for the very quick Canadian. Williams has a good long look at Ross as they go into one of these sweeping corners on this undulating 2.8 kilometre circuit. It really is a masterpiece. Up and over the top they come once again. Williams gets a little bit closer, but so too does Estera, and Estera uses the better power of the GM1 to go across the stripe and take second place. And now really putting the acid on Steve Ross. The question everyone's asking is, where is the master? Where is the MSC Formula 5000 Revival Series champion, Ken Smith? And there he is. Oh, a big lock up there from Williams, and that's cost him space, if not position. Estera goes into the front now. The pressure works, and he gets past Steve Ross. Huge field of these Formula 5000 cars reveling in this uh, changing elevation, the undulations, the off-camber corners, the hairpins, the hills here at Hampton Downs. There is Roger Williams in the T332, the Lola, but ahead of him it is two New Zealand Heritage cars, the McRae GM1s, Estera from Canada in the front, Steve Ross from Dunedin in second. Here comes the pressure from Williams. Sneaks right up under the rear lid spoiler, trying to get as close as he can, maybe disturb the aerodynamics around Ross to make a little bit of an advantage as they come up the hill once again. Full speed in these small block Chevy powered Formula 5000s. Had their heydays in the 70s, but gee, their heyday has come again here. A huge field of 5000s representing all the major marks in all the major countries that race the 5000s the English, the Canadians, the USA, Australia, and New Zealand. And it's the New Zealanders that have been waving the flag. It's a New Zealand car that is leading the race at the moment, but it's not a New Zealander in it. It's Jay Estera from Canada. There is Ian Clements, a past Formula 5000 Revival Series champion out of Christchurch, having his own little battle there. As we go back to the front of the field, Williams has got around uh, Steve Ross now and Ken Smith knocking on the door. Great performance coming here from number 139, and that is Clark Proctor in the uh, brand new car for Clark. He only bought this car just a week ago on the eve of the New Zealand Festival of Motor Racing celebrating Chris Amon. It is the ex Tony Roberts march. But this is Roger Williams across the stripe he goes and already being distanced by the rest of the field. Yellow flags fly, so there's been an incident in that very difficult off-camber turn one. And you'll see when we get a shot as they come up over the hill, as they come up over the top, that turn is absolutely blind. And you hit it at just about terminal velocity. There's the man that sat his car on pole. That's Peter Dunn from Monaco in the march. He's made the trip here for the Chris Amon celebrations in the New Zealand Festival of Motor Racing. Already into the lap traffic, you just get a glimpse of the Lola T430 of Ken Smith, number four, 
in the Belgian team colours. There's a blast from the past if ever there was one. A past Gold Star champion of New Zealand, number 99, Reg Cook. For the last 15 or so years, he's been concentrating on rallying and not the single-seater stuff. But great to see him in a Formula 5000. Oh, there's a problem here for Williams. A mechanical issue for the popular Aucklander. And that means he will take no further part. And it means Steve Ross has re-inherited second place. But now he's under intense pressure from the master. The 69-year-old Ken Smith, three times a New Zealand Grand Prix champion and four times the late. Andy Wigram champion. Oh, and Kenny Smith using all the track and then a little bit more to try and find a way around Steve Ross as we go back and have a look at a uh, injured Roger Williams heading back into the pits. There is the car I talked about before. This is car number seven, and it is a Chris Amon. It's a Formula One car, in actual fact. And it's uh, owned at the moment by uh, Ross Maiden. He's brought it all the way from the UK to celebrate with us here for Chris Amon. There's number 31. You see the one on the side of the car? Well, I look back through the record books, and to my knowledge, Jay Esther has never won a championship, but he's got the cheeky one on it, and he's doing the job at the moment. The Canadian out in the front. Steve Ross in second place, coming under intense pressure now from Ken Smith as they take the big run up the hill once again. Look at Ross just using all the track, shutting the door for Smith. Smith just tucking into the draft. Is he content to follow? He won't be because this is be the last lap here at Hampton Downs for the first Formula 5000 race of the day. And Smith dives down the inside. Well, that's a brave move because, as I said, as you come over the top, head for turn one, it is absolutely blind. But Smithy's made it stick. So now he is in hot pursuit of Jay Estera. Well, we saw this a few years ago when Estera made his first appearance at the MSC Formula 5000 Revival Series. That was at a rain-soaked power-built raceway in Christchurch for the Lady Wigram Trophy. There, Ken Smith got the better of him. Here, the tables have turned. It is Jay Estera in the front. Smith starting to close them down. They work their way through the hairpin. Well, time is running out for Ken Smith to try and make a challenge on Jay Estera from uh, Canada. He competes regularly in the uh, Formula 5000 Revival Series up in the United States of America and in Canada. Runs a, a McLaren Can-Am car as well, so uh, he's living the best of both worlds. As he comes up over the top once again, it is the McRae GM1 leading the Lola, and then it's another McRae GM1 in third place. Back in fourth place, and it's a pretty distant fourth at the moment, but what a great debut for uh, Clark. In fact, fifth place is Clark Proctor just in front of him. Another great performance coming from young Michael Lyons. He sits in fourth as we concentrate on this front three. There's a little bit of a battle going on further down through the field. This is car number 12. This is Warwick Mortimer. Well, he divides time between his 5,000 and his red-hot open BMW in the Castrol BMW series. I think if you asked him, he'd probably say he likes the 5,000 a little bit better. This is the race leader, though. Estera, Smith, Ross, the three of them go through in fourth place, as we said, Michael Lyons. Great performance from the young man from the UK, the son of Frank and Judy Lyons, who've been coming here for years and years and years. In fact, Frank in this race in a Gurney Eagle, built and raced by Dan Gurney, as we go back to the front as they head up and over the top once again. This car has certainly got the wheels on the rest of the field, and I can tell you that Ken Smith has done the fastest lap time so far, a 101.2. So that may give him pole position in race two, the all-important Tasman Cup. There he is, number four, Ken Smith. He's got to be content with second place. The win goes to Jay Estera from Canada in the McRae GM1. So it is Esther, it takes the win from Kenny Smith. Steve Ross is third, and as I said, a great performance from Michael Lyons and Clark Proctor in his debut in a 5,000 finished fifth. Mealy and Brown, we're here at the New Zealand Festival of Motor Racing at Hampton Downs, and what a great event, or a great festival for Auckland City. Oh, it is, it's fabulous, and uh, it's good to see uh, the two areas of Waikato and Auckland working close together, uh, supporting Hampton Downs. Half Auckland's emptied out into this, or the drag strip next door. So, uh, but it's a fabulous facility, uh, and my hat off to the investors who have basically put this together through private enterprise and, and really put a brilliant amenity in place, and perfect day for it, really, not too hot. To see some of these vintage old cars and to meet someone like Chris Amon, one of our great sporting legends, it's just fabulous, and I just want to support it. We've just had the F5000s, and, and I remember as a, as a younger fellow in the 70s and 80s going out to Pookie and watching that stuff, and as exciting now as it is then, I mean, to see the old machinery come out and still be there, it's great. And just to remind us that for the motorsport community, we've got to keep supporting that and uh, make sure we bring the, the next generations of Chris Hammonds and Bruce McLarens and the Beardies, uh, make sure that that generation is coming through and supporting. 
So some terrific action so far here this weekend at the New Zealand Festival of Motor Racing at Hampton Downs. Plenty more race action coming up after the break.